I lived in Hilldale subdivision, which I don't know if you know, it's just a subdivision, and I had fountains and statues and stuff everywhere. And when we moved, I had to leave it because yeah. they, they wanted me to leave it. So when we got here the next year, I started trying to get stuff back. And thought, well, everybody said, give me this, give me that. Can you paint that for me and bring it to me? Yeah. So I'm like, okay. And that's what I did. <laughs> I started charging. <laughs> People would call me and say, are you the uh, uh, concrete lady? They didn't yeah. know what to say, so and I said, yeah, I can. So we sell yeah. to Canada. Uh, Florida, Texas, Nebraska, New York. But Tony, my son, made a dinosaur. We went to a convention, and, and on the way back, uh, we was talking about making mold, or making sculptures. You have to sculpture something. And he come out and said, I think I can. So he'd come home and he's made several things. That, that he made the first dinosaur, I guess we had. Well, I mean, we all were involved in that. You know, when we go to an auction, you know, if somebody saw something they really liked, we bought it. And that's kind of the way it is now. You know, yeah. if somebody has an idea or, you know, a customer's looking for something. Tony, you've made a few things. Oh, so yeah. Sure. Yeah, we sculpted some stuff and, and we've got different sculptures that sculpt for us. But uh, you know, we come out and do stuff every week, so it's. Always, every week. If somebody asked me, do you have that? I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before in my life. And then turn around, it's all stacked up. <laughs> Most concrete places, even the biggest ones, only come out with 10 or 15 new things a year. But, you know, it might be one week we'll do 30 new items, and the next week might all be one or two. There's always new stuff. You know, that there's a new piece that we're getting ready, we just started doing, and it was for a school in West Virginia. And it's a seven-foot pioneer, and it's something that oh, they cool. wanted, and we, we make for them. Uh, you know, we've done, you know, there is customers, uh, wholesale customers that will want 20 of something, and I, that's the key number. I'll tell them if you want 20 of something, then we'll do it. Yeah. But then, years ago, we sold bird baths, plain bounds, and everybody wanted this. Thing. Now it's whimsical stuff. It's, it's, I call it stupid stuff. Anything <coughs> out there. Off the wall. Yeah. You know, anything off the wall. Bigfoots and uh, zombie gnomes. And, you got a bone know, about this big. You know, having a dinosaur bone on. made. Just stuff that it didn't. It didn't just plain flower pots. Yeah. It you still sell that stuff because you still got your older people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, somebody comes in and they're in Chicago. I know they're not going to want a cow or a chicken. <laughs> you know, they want more classical, larger, yeah. modern stuff. You know, when somebody comes in and they're from, you know, Stanford, Kentucky, then I know they're going to want country chicken. stuff. Big Bigfoot's fun. probably the hottest thing right this minute, but it changes where 20 years ago, you, it was easy to point out what was the big thing. You know, 15 years ago, you know, it, it, we all know the old mill fountain and baskets, you know, yeah. we all, it was the big thing. Now there's so many big things yeah. that you don't know which one is the hottest. You make a two foot, a three foot, a four foot, and a five foot big foot. Right now I'm sold out of all of them. And you'll have somebody come in here in a suit and they'll look at big foot and they're like, well, you know, I can't believe people buy that. And then you'll have, you know, uh, somebody like me that comes in and they see a life-size new statue and think, you know, who the hell would want that? There's always somebody that wants something eccentric, you know. Uh, and they'll use that as an attention getter. <clears throat> yeah, two mixers going, and there's different buildings. There's one building that just pours fountains. There's one area that just pours big stuff. There's one area that pours flower pots. One that pours benches, and the one that pours little. Things. But the best way to, to say is a tractor trailer of cement is uh, 52,000 pounds, and we'll go through three of them a month. So uh, it's 40,000 pounds of sand and rock four times a week. So it's 80,000 pounds of sand and rock a week. So you start looking at that, it's thousands of pounds of stuff goes out of here. No, it's about 400,000 pounds of stuff a month. If you can break it down like that, it could be 400,000 frogs or, you know. <laughs> that's the thing with, with mom or with, with any of us. There's nobody could have told us how to do this.